Our journey into the annals of ancient Egypt takes us to the story of Sussens, the silver pharaoh whose riches rivaled that of Tutankhamun. The 21st dynasty to which he belonged is often overlooked in popular accounts of Egyptian history. Nestled as it is between the New Kingdom's grandeur and the later dynasty's intriguing narratives. Yet, this period, known as the Third Intermediate Period, had its fair share of fascinating tales and splendid treasures, none more so than those associated with Sussens I, the Silver Pharaoh. Born into a world steeped in millennia old traditions, Sussens I, whose name meant the star appearing in the city, ascended to the throne of Egypt during a time of relative stability. Although the nation was not as expansive or powerful as it had been during the New Kingdom, it was a far cry from the chaotic decline often associated with the Third Intermediate Period. Upon his ascension, Sussens took on the colossal responsibility of ruling from the city of Tanis, a metropolis of immense significance both spiritually and politically. As he navigated the intricacies of leadership, he was cognizant of his role as not only a political leader, but also a spiritual intermediary between the gods and his people. This dual role was a hallmark of pharaonic rule, the ability to bridge the earthly and the divine, and Sussens I embodied it with a plum. But what truly sets Sussens apart from his counterparts is not his reign, significant as it was, but what was discovered centuries later, his magnificent burial treasures, a collection that would rival that of the renowned boy king Tutankhamun. The discovery of Sussens' tomb in the 1940s was nothing short of a revelation. At a time when the splendor of ancient Egypt was largely associated with the famous Tutankhamun, the uncovering of the silver pharaoh's riches introduced the world to another level of the civilization's exquisite artistry and opulence. The man responsible for this significant discovery was the French archaeologist Pierre Montet, who excavated the Tanis Royal Necropolis for over a decade before stumbling upon the untouched tomb of Sussens I. Within the depths of the earth, under layers of sand and time, the tomb of Sussens lay undisturbed, its sanctity and treasures kept intact. By the virtue of its location and the obscurity of the era it represented, when Montet and his team unveiled the tomb's entrance, they found themselves stepping into a realm frozen in time. Surrounded by the Silver Pharaoh's funerary wealth, which had remained hidden for millennia. Perhaps the most striking of all Sussens' funerary riches was the exquisite silver anthropoid sarcophagus. The sarcophagus was a marvel to behold. Fashioned out of silver and gilded with gold, it was one of the most opulent and best-preserved sarcophagi ever discovered in Egypt. This was all the more remarkable given that silver was rarer and considered more precious than gold in ancient Egypt due to its scarcity in the region. The countenance of the sarcophagus, fashioned in the likeness of the pharaoh, offered a serene and lifelike portrayal of Sussens, providing a tangible link to the man who had once ruled Egypt. His eyes were inlaid with lapis lazuli and obsidian, capturing a certain wisdom and tranquility that was characteristic of pharaonic portrayals. The careful crafting of his royal beard and uraeus, or the rearing cobra, signified his pharaonic stature even in death. Upon opening the silver sarcophagus, a gold coffin was revealed, within which lay the mummified remains of Sussens I. This delicate, Masterfully crafted gold coffin further exemplified the extraordinary craftsmanship of ancient Egyptian artisans and the great wealth possessed by the pharaoh. And it wasn't just the pharaoh's burial attire that was remarkable. His burial jewelry and artifacts, too, exhibited a level of artistry and richness that was incredible. Sussan's funerary mask, fashioned from gold, bore a striking similarity to the more famous mask of Tutankhamun. However, the adornment of lapis lazuli, glass, and various semi-precious stones gave it a distinct identity, capturing the artistic essence of the era it represented. 
The use of these materials was not merely aesthetic, but also carried profound symbolic and religious significance, reflecting the deep spiritual beliefs of ancient Egyptians. Similarly, his array of jewelry, including elaborate necklaces, bracelets, and rings, each intricately designed and inlaid with precious stones, displayed the elevated social status of the pharaoh. Items like the Menat necklace, a type of ceremonial jewelry associated with the goddess Hathor, underscored the spiritual role of the pharaoh as the representative of the gods on earth. The tomb also housed an impressive array of other funerary goods, including statuettes of gods and goddesses, amulets, vessels, and various other artifacts, all bearing testament to the great wealth and status of Sussens. These artifacts, each meticulously crafted, served not only as accompaniments for the pharaoh in his journey to the afterlife, but also as markers of the incredible artistry and craftsmanship that characterized the era. The significance of Sussan's tomb goes beyond its opulence. The discovery of the silver pharaoh's treasures provided historians and Egyptologists with valuable insights into a period of ancient Egyptian history that had, until then, remained relatively obscure. The tomb's untouched condition offered a rare glimpse into the burial customs and artistic capabilities of the 21st dynasty, enriching our understanding of the era. Even today, decades after its discovery, the tomb of Sassens continues to captivate scholars and enthusiasts alike. Its extraordinary treasures challenge the popular narrative that places Tutankhamun at the zenith of ancient Egyptian funerary wealth, reminding us of the diverse and multifaceted nature of this remarkable civilization. The story of Sassens, the Silver Pharaoh, is a story of resilience, splendor, and discovery. It's a story that underscores the vast richness of ancient Egypt, reaching far beyond the well-trodden tales of the New Kingdom. It is a testament to a ruler who, while living in an era often overshadowed by other periods, left behind a legacy that continues to enthrall and enlighten us. And while his name may not echo as loudly as that of Tutankhamun, the treasures of Sussens I shine with a light that is undeniably profoundly impressive. As we delve into these chapters of ancient history, we find ourselves continually humbled and awestruck by the grandeur of a civilization that continues to reveal its secrets one layer at a time. In the end, it is not just about the silver, gold, or precious stones that make up the treasures of Sussens. It is about understanding a culture that continues to influence our own, a civilization that held an intricate and profound understanding of life death and the cosmos. Through the life and death of Sussens I, we gain a broader perspective of the past, appreciating the enduring legacy of the civilization that once flourished on the banks of the Nile.